Hello friends, Matthew Reed here again. I'm still in Psalm 23, so if you didn't watch my last video about the Lord is my shepherd, I would recommend you go ahead and do that, as this will be a bit of a continuation of that. Because later, in verse 4, it says the incredibly familiar phrase, Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. That phrase, the valley of the shadow of death, has really captured my attention. And other translations would say the valley of deep darkness or the darkest valley. And the commentators I read suggest that it's, it's ambiguous. We're not meant to know exactly what the author is talking about, whether it's a specific place like, like the, the literal valleys in southern Judah where shadows could hide bandits or, or other perils. Or it might be something mental emotional, or some other kind of physical terror. I think something really amazing happens when we don't know exactly what the author is describing, because I think Holy Spirit can use our imagination to fill in the gap. When we talk about the valley of deep darkness, or the darkest valley, something probably comes into your mind, or into your heart. It's kind of like how Paul describes his thorn in the flesh, that we don't know exactly what it was. And so we can use our imaginations with the power of the Holy Spirit to, to find out that God's grace is sufficient for all of our needs. I think it's the same here. Even though we walk through the valley of the deep darkness, we will fear no evil because God is with us. So whatever that darkness looks like for you, we can take comfort knowing that God, the Good Shepherd, is still with us. And notice the text doesn't say, when I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil because you will yank me right out of it and keep me safe from it. It says, I will not fear the deep darkness because you are with me. So friends, may you find encouragement that whatever the dark valley looks like for you now, God truly is with you. God, the Good Shepherd, is with you and he is good and we can trust him and we can walk with him so friends walk in the light of jesus today and be the light to those around you